Hello everyone out there in Cyberland. Today's DIY project is about taking steps to lower your risk from hackers and identity thefts, so. Let's get started. One of the biggest misconceptions regarding hacking by ancient people like me, who watched Matthew Broderick, in war games, is that hacking is about a program that is used to try every possible combination of letters, numbers, and special characters, until they find your password and then gain access to your system. This type of hacking will not work on most newer systems, which are designed to automatically lock accounts if a determined number of unsuccessful logins are attempted. There are several different types of hacking but I will address what is called social engineering. This involves gathering as much information about a person and using it to gain access to systems, bank accounts and much more. So, how does this work? Actually, it is relatively simple. Take a look at your social media and you might realize how much information you inadvertently post. First, you use your full name. You let everyone know your birthday. You identify which of your Facebook friends are your family members and you tag them as your mother, father, etc. Do you also list where you currently work and live? How about proudly displaying which high school or college you attended? Do you cheer on your favorite sporting teams? How about posting pictures about your pets? Past and present. Let's not forget about the pictures of the cool car you owned when you turned 16. Now. Think about the last time you logged into a system, but you forgot your password. What did you have to do to get your password reset? Oftentimes, you are asked to verify that you are who you claim to be. And how do you do this? Think for a moment. Yup. You are asked some questions that only you should know. Think once again, what are some of the questions that you are asked? What is your date of birth? What is your mother's maiden name? What is the name of your pet? I think you get the picture now. By posting all that personal information on Facebook and other social network sites, many of you are just giving your access and identity to unethical people who will take advantage of you in a heartbeat. I know your argument will be a hacker needs to know what systems I log into first and I don't share that. Or, a hacker will input the wrong answers and my account will auto-lock, but you would be mistaken. Hacking is just as easily accomplished by using a hacking tool called the telephone. If I know what city you live in, it won't take much of a search in Google Maps to identify the banks in your city. There may be numerous branches all over, but the number of different companies would be few. A hacker calls the local bank and says my name is John Smith, and I have an account there, but I cannot gain access by computer, and I need your help. If the customer service tech does not find an account under your name, the hacker can apologize and use any excuse on how they called the wrong bank by mistake. Then they repeat the process until they find a bank that you actually use. The teller asks for verification and if the hacker is lucky, they have all information they need to convince the tech to provide access. Of course, this is a simplistic, exaggerated example because banks are trained better to be wary of such calls. However, a hacker might find a sleepy, busy, non-caring teller who unknowingly helps the hacker. Are you willing to take the chance? In reality, hackers will likely try to gain access to other systems in which they can use it to obtain more information about you and gain access to even more systems, or to steal your identity and create new accounts, using your info. Let's conduct an experiment. Perform a simple Google search for your name. You will like see numerous results. Now, perform the same search and include information that you have added on your social networking page. In other words, search for your name, with your birthday, your state and or city, your family member's name. There is a strong chance that you will find results directly related to you. Many of these sites will even list your actual home address, and possibly your phone number. For a small fee, they can request full information about you and receive reports with a wealth of information, which includes all previous addresses, phone numbers, your relatives' names, and much more. Everything a person would need to use your identity. What should we do, you ask? Get rid of information on the internet. Do you really need to post your birthday, so that your friends can send you a birthday message to make you feel better? 
Your real friends and family already know and do not need Facebook to tell them. Do you really need to identify which Facebook friend is your mother or father? You and your parents already know. Posting pictures of your pet is great, but in the description, you don't need to mention their name. Being proud of your school is great but your school friends that you befriended on Facebook, already know which school you attended together. And why point out the company you work for? If it is a large company the HR personnel does not know everyone by name, face or voice so they may help a hacker impersonating you. Much of this information can be made private so that the information is only available to those that you designate. But how many of you set those privacy rules and when a new Facebook settings was implemented, all settings were temporarily changed to a new default and you received a message to go back into your settings to set things as private. I hope this project makes you think just a bit about security and protecting yourself and loved ones. Teach your friends and family so they can protect themselves as well. Don't risk it. If anything, use fake birthdays fake city locations and other fake profile information just in case your system is compromised. Please note, following my instructions will not guarantee you will not be hacked or have your identity stolen. It will, however, make it more difficult for a hacker. If a hacker is knowledgeable, and talented enough, he will, find a way. Honey, that was wonderful and extremely informative. Here you go. You earned it. <laughs>